Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the applying the V model to a component, to a Vue.js component. So we have successfully completed the events and also its event validation. Also, we have completed it. Now it's time for us to learn another concept that if we apply a VIFN model to a component name, then what will happen? So first of all, we know that VIFN model can be used for, be, for implementing the two-way binding. So we have seen it in the form input, form bindings and all those things. We can also use the VIFN model for a component to implement the two-way binding. So first I will I try to explain you about this VIFN model when we use on a native element. Then afterwards I will try to change it to component thing. For example, let's say that here I will go here into the app.view and here in the components I will create a new file that is custom input dot view file so this is our custom input dot view file so just it's an input box let's say i'm having a template let's say it's a due and here i'll be having an input type is equal to text and let's go it's a script thing script it's a setup we are having this one input type is equal to text now let's say that we will let's use this con custom input i will be commenting out this one also so that we can have very easily you hello world also i will be commenting out <clears throat> now if you go here i am using the custom input which in returns it's an input box only but i am writing that input box in a separate component input custom input from components slash custom input fine right and i am having a constant search text or anything it's a ref and I will be using hello world, hello Leela web dev. So let's promote our channel. So hello, and here I am trying to send it here something like search text is equal to search text. So I am trying to send it to the input box. Now, here in the input, let's say we are having the props constant props is equal to defined props. And here we will be getting the search text, which in return it's a type is, is string. And let's assume this required is true. That are all the validations we have learned it. Now we got the props. And here let's add this value search text. Okay. That's it. Now if you see the output, let's refresh it. And we should be able to see one type right hand side instance of is not an object so what is happened so here it's everything is correct let's go to the app dot view search text custom input and here also you're having custom input and search text is ref so we are having hello lila web door. everything is correct so did we do anything wrong looks like everything is correct so what is the problem here okay and if you try to see this one custom search and search text everything is correct only oh here we are using the string as like this so i think we need to use it like this i hope this one will make it right i don't know yes we are able to see and here we haven't added this one we removed it right value is equal to value is equal to search text okay so that's it now if you see the output yeah, we are able to see the hello Lila web dev. So fine. So far it's looking fine. But now I when I am trying to change it here, I want to change the such, such text which is present in the parent component, the variable or the ref react value. How can we change it? Here we can use it. Update text is equal to dollar emit. We know that we have a dollar emit. Update text. And we can send the value. It is nothing but dollar event dot target dot value so this is the value that's it so we are using update text is equal to dollar emit and this one we can add it like this and we can add it like this that's it so now update text so this is the emit and here we need to go to the custom input and here whenever the guy is using update text is equal to the dollar event is nothing but this one only and i can use search text is equal to dollar event so this dollar event is nothing but the values which he is trying to send it 
it is a custom event right so that is the reason now if i try to change it so it is updating how can we know that the parent is updated here i can add it like parent and here i can use search text which is available in the parent now this one has to be updated now if you try to see here when i am i am trying to update it not updating what could be the reason let's see in the inspect element so whether something could be wrong happening let's refresh it again it's correct parent hello lila web dev and search text we are sending and the dollar update text and here we are saying we are at the rate update text is equal to oh we need to use input right so here this is not a custom event. at the rate input when the user is trying to change it so we are triggering a custom event update text now if you see the output here see it is changed now oh, we are getting this one like this oh even dot target dot value sorry even dot target dot value now if i show you the output so fine so we are able to update the reason now so we are doing these all the things right so instead of doing these all the things we can achieve the same thing in a easy way by using the applying the vifl model for the custom comp for the component so how can i update it so instead of having this one all i can remove this one all and i can apply vifl model is equal to search text that's it so now when we have used this vifl model search text so this is nothing but the representation Okay, what I want to tell you is the representation. What we are trying to tell you, the representation, it will be expanded to in a such a way that the that one will be expanded to custom input. Okay, VFN model will be converted to model value. So this is the prefix word only model value, and you can write search text and the update thing also at the rate update. Yeah, we used the update text right here it will be using update model value is equal to you will get the new value that is nothing but an event okay you can say it as a new value and such text so it will be updated to such text is equal to new value it will be updated to like this so this is also one and the same only so when you use this vi for model then this one will be updated to like this okay custom input model value it will be expanded to model value and update these are the two things for this to actually work so what we need to do is so now here for this one to not so we have used this one vfn model will it work automatically no for this one actually to work in the custom input we must do the two things one is bind the value attribute so whatever the value attribute is there here bind the value attribute to the model value props so that means here we need to use the props model value so when you have used this one right so let's comment out this one so that is the full form expanded this is the short form so when you use vif and model search text then we need to convert it into model value so this is the props and also when a native input in a native event input event is triggered it will emit an update model value custom event with a new value so that means we have an another one that is nothing but constant emit is equal to define emits of <coughs> So we will be having something like update update model value okay that's it so now what do you need to do here so we got the input and here we need to fire instead of update this one so you need to fire up oh, enter thing on so we need to fire update model value that's it finish doing this one update model value that's it that's it finish so we have so whenever you use for a component vif and model is called search text so then it will be defining with the two things one is a props with the model value and update model value with the emitter event now this one if you try to use the vif and model this works perfectly fine so there is no need to write anything update so there is no need to write anything so now when you use component like this means then it also works absolutely fine if you refresh this page I am not able to see hello lila web dev why such text such text is hello lila web dev fine oh, oh model value we need to change it to model value okay that's it now if i change the value see the same thing happens but this time with a vifr model applied to a component so the, here in this one i am not writing any custom custom event or anything 
so when you use the vfn model automatically the props value and also this one custom value will be inserted automatically the custom event so that is the custom event is update model value and also the props model value will be updated automatically and just you need to fire it here so this is how we will be doing still some more are there in the model thing in this one i will try to explain you afterwards so this is the basic thing so applying a vfn model for a vue.js component hope you understood about this component v model if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you